What's up and welcome to Ingenuity. Today is a very big day because today we start working on our custom DIY chassis mounted wing for Project Becky. And by me talking, we're already behind schedule. So let's get the coffee pot on and get to work. to do I'm sure it's gonna raise a lot of eyebrows and candidly I don't know if it's gonna work but we gotta try something because we don't have time to design things in CAD and send them out to be uh, water jetted or laser cut so we're just gonna give this a shot if it works great uh, if it doesn't uh... it was at this moment he realized he had no idea what he was doing For those of you that have stuck around with me a little bit, you know what I'm about to do. That is make a template of a piece of paper. Alright, there we go. Now we know our mounting holes go. Might have been the easiest thing I've done in like months. <laughs>
want to see what trust issues look like? <laughs> so just to recap, we have a cable that secures the pin that secures the other pin that's secured by another cable that goes to the bracket, which is a backup in case the lever pin fails. Me. How good is that? I told you it was obnoxious. I I don't even know if it's gonna fit through the door. I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> I don't have to say anything. Just look at it. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. That came to, that actually came together pretty good. So yeah, you don't need a water jet or you know get parts laser cut if you need them. I don't want to say in a hurry because cutting, you know, making those brackets was not quick. You know, it did take me a couple days, but that's still faster than sitting down plotting it out in CAD, unless you're, you know, of course, like, you know, super good at CAD stuff. Um, I mean, send, cut, send is really fast, but we're still waiting a couple days, so. Anyway, there you go. Drill, a jigsaw with a metal blade, and a die grinder. Make your own uh, laser cut <laughs> parts, so there you go. And uh, in case you need to access the hatch, um, which obviously you probably would, I made that fold down mechanism, so here's how it works. So on each side, you just go over, you pull this pin, I'm going to try to do this on an angle so you can see it. Pull that pin, flip flip the cam lever down, and do this on both sides. And then, I'm going to stand back, and just slide it back. There you go. And then with it slid back. You know, obviously you come in from like the side, but there you go. You can open the hatch. So I cut this uh, curved slot in here for the cam to follow. Um, and that's bolted in. And that way it just follows that slot, goes back up. And then we have our safety pin. Um, because I was, which is, this is made from a 3 8 bolt um, that I cut the threads off of and then just ground it down, drilled the hole for the other pin. So you slide that in, fold the, the cam up, and then slide that in, done. So yeah, in terms of designing stuff, I mean, I feel like that works pretty flawlessly. So I'm very happy with that. Um, the other thing I had to do um, is make these tension cables. Otherwise it was a lot of, there, there's just no lateral stability to this thing. And now it doesn't move at all. You can buy these kits, various people make them. I made my own. It's just braided steel cable. Um, and then I got heat, some heat shrink to cover up the, the, the pinch coupler things. I'm not even sure what they're called. I'll leave a link in the, uh, in the video description in case you want you want to get them, but yeah, and then just just run some regular eye bolts. Uh, they're a quarter inch. The end plates are made from a recycled road sign. Um, honestly, I I would like to swap them out <laughs> for like legitimate ones, um, but you know for now got them in there, so you know they work and we're good to go. Whew, okay, deep breath. <laughs> we got about a month left to go, so to that end, I'm going to try to put out you know quality content and you know good videos uh to the best of my ability but admittedly most of the focus is going to be on getting the work done so if you just hang in there with me if you just i might have to hit you with just a big time lapse depending on what we're working on and what we're doing um, i'll try my best not to do that um i'm still i feel like i'm still kind of new to the youtube game and editing videos and stuff like that so um, yeah, it's a learning process, you know, we're, I'm getting through it, but I absolutely appreciate everyone who's uh, stuck with me so far through this and uh, continues to stick with me and hopefully I might get to meet some of you in person at Boxerfest, so.
can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Shake it off. Back to work. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could do me a solid and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. The YouTube algorithm likes that sort of thing. But above all else, remember, on projects like this thing, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.